in my next life. In my next life, I've decided I'm not going to be a government experiment. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Dude, a new record in stupidity. You know how I've been running back and forth between the State Department trying to get a passport for like ever now? Yeah. I just went again. I just opened the envelope that they handed back to me sealed that everything was in the right place, right order and everything. Guess what's missing now? My two passport folders, I have to go get new ones reshot because she forgot to put them back in the thing and they didn't hang on to them and it's the receipt from FedEx that I even had them done is there and I even held it up to them at the window. I said, but look, I had them when you last reviewed the package. I haven't opened. Well, you'll still have to get new ones. We can't submit it without one. Oh, and let me guess, I get to pay for that? Yes. Thank you, Uncle Sam. I love the State Department so much. Not ever. Has anybody gone through this much bullshit with the government, any government employee, any human being, every citizen? Jesus Christ, you go through this much with the government? Holy fuck, dude. You got nothing today. No heroin came? No. Oh, man, could you just drop a bunch of LSD in there tomorrow? I need some LSD. Even when I did the Timothy Leary project with the CIA and ABC nearly fired me for it, it wasn't as kooky as this thing is. <laughs> Holy shit, I want to go back to the CIA days, but ask it. Oh my God, dude. I cannot believe it. I, I looked across the, and they're all smiling in there. I'm like, can you find it? Maybe it was in window. Does it, no, we don't hang on to that stuff at a federal building. Of course, that makes perfect sense. Why would you do that? Only because I've been here 19 times already. So I have to go back tomorrow now. There's, oh, also that they wrote on the I can show them. Well, didn't you get a confirmation number for your, and this is all she wrote. I held it up. February 1st, 8 o'clock, no name, no number, no nothing. They looked up and said, oh, no, your appointment was this morning. I said, but this doesn't say the 31st Wednesday. She said, well, evidently there was a mistake. Oh, like you're forgetting to put the photos back in, and now I get to go home and do. And I said, if I walk in tomorrow at 2 and give this to you, I'll still have it back by 2 on Friday. Oh, yeah, not a problem. Right, nothing like weight down yeah, to the wire going over yeah. the edge and, you know, if a bus or a hiccup is happening, anything goes wrong. Oh, sorry, right. come back Monday. Oh, but the plane was leaving Saturday? I don't think I'm leaving this weekend. I may be seeing you for... Because now I found out because of this assault, I have to have reconstructive facial surgery, ear surgery, and jaw surgery. How long does reconstructive surgery take? I have no idea. I think I'm going to have to go to the FBI and say I'm not leaving the country in a few weeks or anytime soon. Thanks to you guys. No, oh, this is insane. Find a, wit a, find a witness rehab program for me. Send me to it. Oh, my God. Nothing today. So I'm on hold with passport because I don't... Oh, let me check the place out. Oh, my God, I'm just blown the way. And now they've lost the passport photos again. I have to go get another set. Oh, my God. And, of course, I can't stand there and berate them for their stupidity and incompetence because <laughs> it'll just protract this already very protracted process. I'm going to go check some things. I'll be back. God, this is just insane. Thanks, Sam, you fucking assholes.